Good morning guys and welcome back to the Family Fudge. Today we're headed to Costco and I have the whole family with me, so let's go. Okay, so today when we're at Costco, we need to pick up all of the ingredients for our Thanksgiving cooking, as well as some day-to-day -day items because we actually haven't been to Costco since before our trip to Disneyland, so we're out of quite a few things. And it's really great that this guy could come with me today because if I find any Christmas gifts for the kids, I can sort of send them away and they can go wait in the car while I secretly buy them. So come along with us. If I see anything fun, new, or interesting, I will definitely show you. Okay, we made it to Costco and they just opened, so it's not too crowded, which I love. Are you guys ready? Yeah! What are the rules? No screaming, no crying, no running away, no stealing stuff. That's right. Hi, Griffin. <laughs> Let's go. Thanksgiving is in two days. So we stopped here by the toys just to see if there was anything new, and I'm not seeing anything. They have basically everything that they've had for the last couple of weeks. I think these Cabbage Patch dolls are a really good deal. I also think that the Play-Doh is a really good deal. You get this big, big thing for only $19.99, so I might be getting one of those. Shh, don't tell the kids. What do you think, Kenzie? Yeah, I really like these. You like these? Ooh, they're Disney. I like these ones. What do you think about these? Yeah, I'm, I love these. I'm having a My Little Pony birthday this year. You are. Now, if you're a pie baker, this is a really good deal. I looked at these last time, but now they're on sale, so I'm glad I didn't buy them before. This is a set of three Pyrex pie pans. They're glass for only $7.99. That's actually a really good deal. And these are actually pretty deep. I love this section at Costco. They have so many fun books and activities and a lot of them are really educational as well, so that's always a plus. And the price is really good too. I do a lot of price matching on Amazon, and I find that Costco really has good deals on things like this. I love these boxes of books. These are such a good deal. Okay, Jackson wants to show us this really cool book. It's about animals. Show look us what, what it does. Look what happens. Look at the panda face uh -huh. when I open it. That's kind of hard to tell because of the glare, you guys, but when you open it, it looks like it's actually moving his mouth. See, look. That's cool. That's awesome. Dude, that's the last page. What do you think about that book? It's cool. How much is it? Mm -hmm. Let's check on the back. Oh, it doesn't say how much it is. That's strange. But that is pretty cool. Check out these cool art kits. I know Mackenzie and Lily would love these. These are $20, and there's several different characters to choose from. Now here's one I don't have, the holiday edition. That looks awesome. Oh yeah, I think I missed that page. This Costco's definitely ready for Thanksgiving. Check out all the cheesecakes. We have these ones and these ones. And then over there, all pies. So many pies. And they also have pumpkin rolls. These are $12.99. But I think the best deal is the pumpkin pie. It's only $5.99. Look at all the pumpkin pies. Whoa. Check out the eggnog, you guys. Now, I'm surprised to find out how many people actually dislike eggnog. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you like eggnog? Did you hate it? But this big thing at Costco, if you love it, is a good deal. It's only $3.59. What are you eating, Griffin? He's eating a biscotti. Is it good? It looks messy. It looks really hard. Is it good? You want to give it to Jack? How's it going, Lily? Good. So we finished up at Costco, and right now we're just getting some food from the food court. As you can see, it's really crowded now. We've only been here for about an hour, and it's really, really started to get packed. So we're gonna get some lunch, and then we'll head over to we'll head over to Walmart. Okay, guys, so we just made it back home. We ended up going to Costco, to Walmart, and the grocery outlet. 
but on the drive home, I was feeling very car sick, so that was not a fun time. But right now, I have Mackenzie with me. She's gonna help me out, say hi. hi. So I'll go ahead and start with the things from Costco first, specifically the non-food items, and then I'll work my way this way. We did pick up a lot of things for Thanksgiving, but also just some normal things as well. Starting back over here, I picked up this package of daylight light bulbs. I'm not quite sure how much these were because the husband put them in the cart, but I really do like the daylight bulbs. They're very nice. Back over here, I picked up a big thing of toilet paper. And then next to that, I have a big thing of paper towels. Now these will last a long time, probably about a month at least in my house. Now for Thanksgiving, I picked up four bottles of the Martinelli's sparkling cider. At Costco, these were only about $2 a bottle, which was the best price in my area. I also picked up some Kerrygold butter because I'm in charge of the mashed potatoes this year and I wanna add this in there. I think that'll make them very tasty. And I also picked up this pumpkin cheesecake. Now, if, you're, if you don't have a lot of time on Thanksgiving, take some help from the store. These pumpkin cheesecakes from Costco are very good, and their regular pumpkin pies from Costco are very good too. So keep that in mind if you're trying to save some time. I also picked up a big thing of half and half for some Thanksgiving recipes, and also some sour cream. Moving over here, I picked up a rotisserie chicken. That's probably gonna be for dinner tonight. I also got some lunch meat for lunches this week. And I also picked up some bacon. Now I was excited that this was marked down this time. It was only $14. Last time I bought it, it was almost $20. So I like the lower price for sure. Over here, I picked up a big thing of eggs and some crescent rolls. Now these were, let's see, you get five in here for only $3.99. So that's a really good deal. Over here, I picked up a double pack of the mild shredded cheddar cheese. This is a really good deal, and one of these is gonna go directly into the freezer. Next to that, I picked up a package of the multigrain tortilla chips and some Brussels sprouts, and then this guy. This is new at my Costco. I've never seen this before. This is the strawberry harvest salad mix, and it looks really good, but I almost didn't buy it because it says it has beet greens in there. I'm okay with carrots and cabbage and broccoli and kale, but I wasn't sure about the beet greens, so I might like it, I might not. Let me know in the comments down below if you like beet greens. I've never had them before. But also in here, there's some feta cheese and some almonds and quinoa and a strawberry vinaigrette. So I thought we could give this a try. Over here, I have a big package of bananas a double pack of peanut butter because we were completely out. And we can't have PB&J day without peanut butter, right Mackenzie? Yeah. That's right. I also picked up a double pack of ketchup because we were completely out of ketchup. And then, let's see, I have a few more things from Costco back here. I got a big thing of Cascade and a big thing of vinegar. I like to clean some things around the house with vinegar, put it in the laundry, things like that. Now moving on to the things from Walmart. First, I picked up some turkey pepperoni. I think we go through one of these packages every week at my house. My kids love these. I also picked up some green onions, and this is to go in some recipes, including the next cheese ball. Now, I don't, I don't know if you guys have seen my cheese ball recipe. I'll go ahead and link it above and down below if you'd like to check it out. It's really fun and festive, but I need to make another one. And the bell pepper is gonna go in it, and some garden vegetable cream cheese is gonna go in it, some regular cream cheese, and some sharp cheddar cheese, all for the cheese ball. Also at Walmart, we picked up some string cheese, and as you can see, we actually got into these on the drive home for the kids to snack on. And then I got these guys. This time I picked up two of the pumpkin spiced cinnamon rolls, and these are so good. They are totally bad for you, but they are very tasty. Over here, I picked up a double pack of the frozen green beans. I'm in charge of the green bean casserole, so I'm gonna be using probably half of these in here. I also picked up some organic Fuji apples. These are the nice small ones that I like for my kids. From Walmart, I also picked up some flatbread. This is the Greek pita in the whole wheat variety. My kids like these. And then lastly from Walmart, I picked up some yogurt. First, I have the Activia. And this is the Activia with oatmeal in it. And this comes in the strawberry and pineapple flavors. 
And then I also picked up the um, Simple Go-Gurts in the strawberry and mixed berry flavor. Now from the grocery outlet, I found two of these interesting looking pizzas. These are actually Fiesta beef pizzas. Now they used to serve something just like this in my public school when I was growing up, so I was excited to give this a try. It was called a Fiestata, so let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had a Fiestata. Hopefully this will be just like that, because I used to love those things. Now my Australian friends will know exactly what these are. I picked up two packages of Tim Tams, and these were only 99 cents a package, so that's a really good deal. At Target, these are like $3, so I have some original ones and some dark mint. The kids have never had these, so I think they're really gonna like them. I also picked up these guys. I don't normally buy these, although I really think that they're very tasty. These are authentic rice pudding cups, and they have the cinnamon on top, and they're quite small, so it's, you know, it's not too bad, but these are perfect for throwing in lunches. A fun little treat. I also picked up a variety pack of the chewy granola bars, and then I also got more yogurt at the grocery outlet because these are only 57 cents a carton. And this is the grass milk organic strawberry. I got four of those. And then these guys, I did find the Go-Gurts at Walmart. But when I saw these at the grocery outlet, I definitely had to pick them up because they were only $1.49 for these organic whole milk yogurt tubes. So that's a really good deal. So I think both of these will end up going in the freezer and we'll go, we'll go ahead and have these ones first. I also picked up a package of the veggie sticks in the snap pea flavor. These are really tasty. And then lastly, I picked up two boxes of these guys. These are just like Uncrustables, which my kids really like, but this is just the organic version. And the grocery outlet had these two for $5, so that's a really good deal. Okay friends, thank you so much for joining me on this pre-Thanksgiving grocery haul. Let me know in the comments down below, what are you making for Thanksgiving? Are you doing everything? Or are you just doing a few things like me? Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.